Hmm, is this okay? Guys, the reality of filming. I have sweatpants on right now. <laughs> like I'm just dressed from here upwards and then the rest, I'm in quarantine vibes. But today I'm gonna be filming a video few girls out there and I actually get asked this question quite a lot and it's a question that's like I'm new to niche fragrances which ones do I buy so basically I wanted to come up with a list of fragrances that I recommend for like entry niche these fragrances in this list in my opinion are perfect if you're used to your designer fragrances but you kind of want to try niche, you want to try a niche brand, you want something a little more niche smelling as well. I have some fragrances that are the perfect way to transition into the niche world of fragrance. So I hope that you guys enjoy this video. I have like around 12 fragrances that I'm going to mention today. So let's just get straight into it. The first fragrance that I have is one from Montal and this fragrance is called Intense Cafe. Now to me, this is a beautiful like sweet rose oud scent, but it's so delicious guys. Like it's so delicious. It has coffee, vanilla, rose. It's very sweet, gourmand, heavy. The oud is not crazy in the fragrance, which I love. The oud is more like uh, it's balanced perfectly with like the coffee, the gourmand notes. It's got a kind of like a creamy milkiness to the scent as well. And it's definitely one of my favorite like rose oud sweet gourmand fragrances. You guys know if you watch me, Lancome Oud Bouquet, Atelier uh, Cologne, Cafe Tuburosa. These are all ones that I love. But if I had to recommend an entry niche from a brand, it would be Montal Intense Cafe. Atelier Cologne Cafe Tuburosa is a little more complex, maybe a little more acquired, but the Montal Intense Cafe is perfect. I feel like a lot of you guys would really enjoy this fragrance, especially if you're used to more designer scents. So Montal Intense Cafe, incredible scent. If you like the sweet gourmand rose sort of fragrances, this one is perfect. Okay, so next up we have one from MFK. Now, if you don't know, Maison Francis Kirkjean is a incredible, incredible niche house. And Francis Kirkjohn is an incredible perfumer. And his brand, to me, he has a lot that could be appealing to entry niche people. Like, to me, Alaros, uh, Apom, Pour Femme, I think it's called. We have Gentle Fluidity, which is the one I'm mentioning today. You've got Baccarat. These are all, to me, very entry niche fragrances. They're nothing too crazy. Whereas he has fragrances like Oud Satin Mood, Grand Soir. They're more complex and more for the niche freaks, I guess you could say. But the one that I'm going to go ahead and recommend is not Baccarat. I'm going to go ahead and recommend Gentle Fluidity from MFK. This one is beautiful. It's very soft. It's very sweet. It's a... Uh it gives me feelings of like Santal Complete from Fragrance Sous Bois. Not, they're not the same scent, they don't smell the same, but they're very soft, vanilla, uh, gentle fluidity, has some amber, some vanilla. It's just very soft, sweet, a little bit powdery, um, just very beautiful. I can't really see many people disliking it. You do have to like vanilla and you do have to like sweeter sort of fragrances to like this one. But to me, it's much more um, appealing than Baccarat. It's much more safe and much more appealing. So Gentle Fluidity from MFK. Love, love, love. I actually want to get myself a bottle of this one for sure. And I feel like it's the perfect entry niche fragrance. Next up, I couldn't decide which one I wanted to include from Lalabo. There's two fragrances that for me are like perfect entry niche fragrances they are perfect it's not rose 31 it's not Santal 33 these are too much the ones that I love and actually I want to get for myself is Tien Noir, Tien Noir 29 and another 13 so Tien Noir if I remember it's one of my favorites from Le Labo like I said I want to bottle myself it's kind of like this woody it has some fig which usually I hate fig in my fragrances but in Tien Noir it's done really well it's very like airy uh, it's woody, but it's not too much. There's something so beautiful about the scent. It still has this very light and airy feeling to it, even though it has like uh, notes of like tobacco, cedarwood, fig. To me, it's still got a lightness to it, which I adore. So it's definitely one that I recommend. And then the other one is Another 13. To me, Another 13 is very transparent of a fragrance. It's kind of like this musky, soft, very, very, very clean, um, non-offensive fragrance whatsoever. Like I would literally recommend it 
to somebody that works with children, to somebody that works in a hospital. Another 13 is super like calming. It's just a calming, uh, very light, airy, again, this kind of non-offensive fragrance, which I just love. And these are definitely two of my favorite scents from the Labo. So another 13 and Tea Noir. I'm gonna include both but definitely try them both if you're just getting into niche fragrances because they are fantastic. Next up, we have one from Maison Margiela and it is By the Fireplace. For me, this is like the best fragrance from Maison Margiela. I also love Jazz Club. I love uh, Lazy Sunday Morning, I think it's called. There's a lot that I actually like. At the Barbers for men is fantastic. But I have to say, if I could only have one from Maison Margiela, it's got to be By the Fireplace. To me, this one is just intoxicating. It's got a nutty, sweet, gourmand. It may be a touch masculine for some girls. For me personally, it's perfect. I love it. I want it. And it's something that I would wear and feel not masculine at all. It's not masculine to me. It's just a unisex fragrance. And it just smells fantastic. But definitely try this one out. If you like sweet, warm, nutty, uh, inviting sort of fragrances, this one is just so good. Perfect for the fall and winter, perfect for a date night, like an intimate date night. I usually recommend it to men, but it's also appropriate for women as well. So girls, get on this one. Uh, Maison Margiela by The Fireplace. So next up, you guys already knew, the Lina from Parfum de Mali. This one definitely is entry niche for me. Like there's a few Marlies that I think are a little more complex, a little more you need to know fragrance, like Carlisle for instance, it's more of a complex scent. But Delina is so easy to smell, so easy to wear. You can wear it every day, all year round. It could be a signature scent. It's rose, it's peony, it's plush, it's a little tart and sour from the rhubarb notes. It's got a little bit of a sweetness, it's got a little bit of a freshness, it's a bit of a soapy touch. But for me, if I could explain it, it just smells like beautiful velvety roses and peonies mixed together. Nothing is too crazy or too intense. The rose and peonies blend beautifully. It has soapiness and a little bit of a tart sort of smell from the rhubarb. So Delina from Mali, 100% recommend it for an entry niche uh, person just getting into niche fragrances. Try it. I think you will love it. Next up, we have one from Aqua de Palma. And I never talked about this fragrance, but I love it so much. And it is Mandolo di Cecilia. This one is so good, you guys. Like, it's so good. If you don't know how this smells, it kind of has this root beer float sort of smell to it and a lot of people say this actually it's a little bit powdery it's vanilla like i just said it's vanilla and almond it has anise in there as well but you just have to try this one to me it's like super likable super easy if you like fragrances like hypnotic poison from dior definitely check out mandolo di cecilia from aqua de palma because i feel like they have similar vibes they don't smell the same, but they have a similar feeling. So definitely check it out. The Aqua de Palma one is a lot more fresh and fizzy, whereas the Hypnotic Poison is more warm and gourmand, I think. It's one of my favorites from the brand for sure. And to me, very easy to understand, very easy niche fragrance. Okay, so next up we have Mikalef, Martin Mikalef, Ilangin Gold. I talk about this one a lot. And to me, again, easy entry niche fragrance. If you don't know how it smells, it's this beautiful vanilla, uh, floral, coconut, sweets, a little bit fruity. It almost has this kind of plasticky smell to it, but not in a bad way, in a very good way. It's just a beautiful fragrance. It's creamy, it's vanilla, it's floral, but it's blended so beautifully. I would say personally, the uh, vanilla is more pl prominent than the floral notes in the fragrance. So if you're scared of wearing too much floral scents, try Mikalef's Ilangin Gold. It's not too floral at all. And it's definitely one of my favorites from Mikalef for sure. So to me, this one is easy, easy, like an easy niche fragrance. And I love it so much. Okay, so next up we have Gypsy Water by Byredo. I know this is a uh, kind of basic because a lot of people like this is probably when you hear niche fragrance, you probably think of Gypsy Water because it's super, everybody knows it. It's very common and it's nothing groundbreaking if I'm going to be honest. Like I almost didn't include it in the list. But I have to say, I personally like the scent. So Byredo is a very entry niche house, in my opinion. They have some more complex things, but they also have very easy fragrances, like very easy, like Blanche, Byredo, Gypsy Water. Um, there's many, there's many from them that are very easy to understand. But the one that I went with is Gypsy Water, because to me, it does really smell good. It's kind of like a woody, fresh, aromatic, a little sweet. If you wanted to just start to get into niche fragrances, it's a good place to start. Do I think it's the best in this list? Not at all. Do I think it's groundbreaking? Not at all. But do I think it's 
uh, a great gateway into niche? Yes, definitely. So Gypsy Water from Byredo. Next up we have Diptyque Eau de Oil. Now I actually love both of them. There's an Eau de Toilette and Eau de Parfum. To me, they're both really good. They both last a long time. They both smell very similar. I might go ahead and recommend the EDT because it was the first one that I fell in love with. Diptyque Eau de Oil. I still don't own a bottle, which is crazy because I love the scent so much. It's one of my favorites, like, kind of simple warm vanillas it's a beautiful vanilla fragrance but it's very uh it makes you feel like you're in the winter time it's a little spicy a little woody it makes you feel like you're by a campfire or something like this it doesn't have incense or anything but i just get this feeling of being like warm in a cozy sweater in the camp like having a campfire i'm not sure why but i just love the scent um to me yeah to me it's like a vanilla with some warm balsamic touches it's a little spicy from the cardamom that's in the fragrance it's just so good i really love the scent so diptyque eau de well eau de toilette i'm gonna link everything below guys so it's easier but definitely a perfect entry niche fragrance especially if you like vanilla and more warmer scents next up we have a mancera and it is roses for this one to me is super easy to like like it's super 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 easy yet it is fantastic i personally love this fragrance i'm definitely getting a bottle of it and like guys i thought about this list very carefully of uh fragrances that i think most of you will find you will find something within this list of what you like personally and i tried to think of things that are appealing that are easy to wear that have good longevity like i really wanted to think of this so roses vanille from mancera to me it's one of my favorites actually it's a beautiful rose fragrance with loads of vanilla loads of sugar it's a sweet um, a very pink rose. To me, it doesn't smell like dark and heavy and mysterious. It's just very like feminine, girly, powerful, sweet, um, delicious rose fragrance. And I just absolutely love it. As you can tell, there's quite a lot of rose fragrances in here, but each one are different. Montal Intense Cafe, it's super strong, it has oud, rose, vanilla, coffee, crazy. Delina's more like a fresh, uh, feminine, girly rose. And the Roses Vanille is more of like your gourmand sweet rose as well. So I tried to include like a few different ones. So I hope that you don't mind. And yes, Roses Vinny is fantastic and one of my favorites from Mancera. So definitely get on this one. Next up, we have Roger Dove Elixir Essence de Parfum. I believe it is. Elixir Parfum Essence de Parfum. There we go. Now, this one I have at home. And to me, it's a beautiful signature scent. Like it's a beautiful signature scent for somebody that's just getting into niche fragrances. Roger Dove in general is like such an incredible house. I love him. I love the man behind the brand. He's such a charismatic and passionate person. I met him in Cannes. And then this is not sponsored or anything. I'm just saying. And the brand is just beautiful. And this fragrance specifically, it, to me, is very easy. It's a very easy, beautiful fragrance that I think a lot of you would really love. It has raspberry. It has rose. It has some violet in there. It's a little fruity. There's definitely like this fruitiness to it. Like raspberry peach vibes but it's very uh it has kind of an almost a little vintage feel to it like a little bit and to me it's a little bit powdery uh it's very um it's very feminine and very uh expensive it's very feminine but it makes you feel expensive at the same time so i love this fragrance and definitely a perfect entry niche fragrance if you wanted like a signature scent that smells expensive sophisticated but also very feminine this one is the way to go, for sure. The final fragrance. The final fragrance is from Atelier Cologne and it is Vinny Incense. Vinny Incense, I think it's pronounced. Anyways, this fragrance is a straight up vanilla, a straight up woody vanilla. Like it's super, super, super sweet. Do not underestimate the sweetness of this scent. I almost sometimes find it too sweet to be honest with you guys, but it's a super easy vanilla, like super easy. It has vanilla, it has oak, like this oak wood sort of smell, but it's incredible. It's slightly smoky, very uh, rich and very dense, a little bit powdery almost as well. But do not underestimate, underestimate the sweetness of an incense. Like it's super sweet to me. Uh, but for me, it's super easy to understand. Like it's a very simple vanilla fragrance that I think a lot of you would love. So definitely if you like vanilla, you really like sweet fragrances, Vinny Incense is the one to try for sure. 
and uh, yeah. So that is it, you guys. I hope that you enjoyed hearing about my top recommendations for entry niche fragrances. So where to start when it comes to niche fragrances. I'm sorry this video was a little all over the place. I felt like I couldn't really get my words out today. I'm not sure why. So yeah, I'm sorry about that, guys. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed the video and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.